Fun problem tonight, we're trying to determine if n can be expressed as the sum of three cubes whenever uh, n when divided by nine leaves a remainder of four. And that's what this congruent statement means. Now, another way of looking at this is just uh, you would get uh, n minus four is a multiple of nine also is, a, is another equivalent outlook. And if you just add four to both sides, it's the same thing I just said. But so we'll say n m, okay, n m, and that says n minus four is equal to a multiple of nine where m is just some integer. Now, the way to get a handle on this is just to note that every integer uh, has a remainder equal to zero, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight upon division by nine. And so that, that leads to this computational step right here where we cube all of these uh, n remainders one through eight and see what they're congruent to mod nine. Now, it's understood we're doing mod nine down here. I don't repeat that, but it is mod nine. Now, if you'll take a look here, maybe uh, just, just an example here. Uh, let's take a look maybe at this. Uh, you may wonder where the one comes from. Well, notice that uh, 64 Uh, 64 minus 1 is equal to uh, 9 times 7. Equal to 9 uh, times 7 right here. Okay? And that's exactly this statement right here. Okay? And that means that we can replace, when, when that happens, you can treat this just like it's an equality. You see we had 64 times 8 right here, which is 8 squared times 8. The 64 just gets replaced with a one. Now we can. What what happens right here is is very nice. Uh, we learn that all cubes are congruent to zero, one, or eight, modulo nine. Now this 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 means for all uh, uh, numbers that are that are integers is what this means. This is a, a universal quantifier it means for all for all. Okay, let's move on down. And summarize our results here. Now again, we're trying to look at the circumstances under which uh, n can be written as the sum of three cubes, okay? Well, again, any cube has to be 0, 1, or 8. We just demonstrated that on the, on the previous uh, line, or the, you know, the previous few steps. And so these are just all possibilities right here. You see, uh, if x cubed were congruent to 1, uh, and then y cubed were congruent to zero, z, uh, z cubed congruent to zero, we get this statement right here, where n is congruent to one. Okay, and you see, you can see guys, I'm just going through every single possibility here, every single possibility of eight, one, and zero. Okay, and so notice we get one, two, three, but four is missing. Now right here, you, uh, 16 is congruent to seven. Okay, 16 minus seven is nine. Uh, 24 right here is, uh, congruent to six, right? Okay, since 24 minus six is equal to nine times two. But notice that four does get left out. And that was the question that we we're trying uh, to answer. Okay, that's the, uh, can you have a sum of three cubes whenever uh, we leave a remainder of four right here when n is congruent to four? And so we see from this column four nor five, and they, the question it would have worked equally well for five down here. But so um, one, two, three, four, and five get omitted, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, six, and we have some repeats here. But in any event, uh, what we have shown is that um, N is not congruent. Four mod nine. Now I'm going to just work one concrete example here. Uh, so we, we'll put mod nine here. Just look at a, a, a number that would satisfy the congruence of four. So let me write that down. So uh, again, um, n is never congruent to 4, and so it never can be expressed. Uh, so the answer to this question is no.
definitely no right there, folks. Now, let's look at a problem like that is congruent to four and just see the problems we would run into. Um, let's see here. How about 31? Okay, 31 is congruent to four, right? Now, this wouldn't prove anything, but just kind of supports what we're saying. 31 is congruent to 4 mod 9, right? Because 31 minus 4 is 27, and 27 divided by 9 is 3, or 27 is a multiple of 9, right? Now, notice it is congruent to 4, and we're claiming that uh, n is not congruent to 4 in these circumstances where n would be represented as the sum of uh, 3 uh, cubes. And so notice that the possibilities for 31 would be 31 and let me put a question mark over the equal sign here. All right. Okay, so uh, let's try maybe three cubed. See, that's already 27, and there's no way you're going to get any other cubes. All you could try here with two cubed would be too big, right? So three cubed plus one cubed plus one cubed certainly uh, doesn't get the job done. See, this is 27, 29. And you can see that there's not going to be any solutions to this. Uh, uh, maybe you could, you, maybe you want to try a 2-cube, right? Um, okay, 2-cubed. That would be eight, uh, two cubed again. You know what I mean? You're n th th you're, there's just not going to be any solutions to this equation, but because uh, it, it's congruent to four. All right. Now I didn't go through every possibility, I guess, but it's pretty convincing that that uh, if 31 is congruent to four, 31 cannot be represented uh, as the sum of three cubes. And that wasn't a, a, a super convincing proof. But any number at all, any number at all that is congruent to 4 cannot be written as the sum of uh, 3 cubes. Hope you enjoyed.